as I surround myself with fall colors, Digiterra has sent me this two terabyte SSD for your iPhone or whatever you want to use it for. This is the setup here. Now, as we get into the iPhones, I have this is 15 Pro Max. Of course, the 16 is out. ProRes is the way to go when you do actual real good quality filming with your iPhone. So in order to do that, you need to have some type of SSD attached to it. I've had smaller ones before, like a, I'll show you right here, it looks like 128 Samsung. The problem with that, I'm having trouble putting it with my case. And this one actually fits right back here easily with my case. So that I do like. The little light lights up back here when it's plugged in. The files transfer over really easy. So you can do all your filming in ProRes as long as you want. Two terabytes, so it's gonna, it'll last a while before I need to switch it out. But this is a really cool option, right? This is a MagSafe case. Uh, it does come inside the box. If you don't have like your Samsung, something like that, you can glue the ring on the back of your camera or stick it on the back of your camera within a case and then it'll magnetize and you can reattach this to the back of your phone if you want to use it that way. Or you can use it on your phone and then you can throw it off and use it like any other SSD drive. So let's go look at the speed to this thing and see if it compares to like SamDisk. I have a four terabyte and a four terabyte extreme. We'll test both those out. I will also show you what my older now Mac Mini Pro can do. It's fast. Uh, the new one just came out for the Mac Mini, but All right, this is a cool setup. I do like this thing, two terabyte. If you're interested in the links below, check them out. Check out the SSD drive. It all fits nice and perfectly. So I'm gonna do some more filming with my ProRes on here and we'll end it that way. A little of the leaves and stuff, how about that? This is ProRes 60 frames per second on the iPhone using the Digera SSD, two terabyte. You don't have to get two terabyte, but we all want bigger, right? So it's, I've never had any type of issue of now thinking I'm gonna fill this thing up with two terabytes. If I do, that's gonna be one long video.